Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a graph with Data Classroom. You are at the dashboard view right now. The first thing we need to do is select a data set. So I go over here to recent data sets, and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to pick this one, uh, Dangerously Bold from Data Nuggets. Uh, and we come in here, and this is the table view. So we're basically, we're looking at a spreadsheet. We've got four variables, fish ID number, which we're not going to show on a graph. And then we've got behavior, which is a categorical length, which is a numeric, and weight, which is also a numeric. So to show this as a graph, we go up here to this button, this yellow one that says show as a graph right here, and I click it, and now we have the graph view. Uh, you can go back and forth between table and graph view just by clicking that again. So here's table, and now back to graph. Okay, so let's make a graph. First thing we need to do is choose what kind of graph. We have pie chart, uh, bar chart, or histogram, and we have scatter plot. I'm going to show you uh, an example where I make a pie chart first. So let's look at pie chart and pie charts are good for showing categorical variables. So let's show behavior on there. I just go up and I click on this button show, which is graph this column right here, click it. And that's it. I have made a graph uh, for any of you who have ever fought uh, with Excel or Google Sheets. We hope this is much easier. So you see that's um, a pie chart. If I want to take that same data and represent it as a bar chart, I just go over here and I click this icon. And now we see the same data, the number of bold and shy individuals uh, represented as, as a bar chart. Um, if I wanna make a histogram, I'm gonna click a different uh, variable. I'm gonna click length. So this is a numeric and I click that. And now that switches that variable out. And now we're looking at a histogram. And I also wanna point out how you can change the number of bins right here by clicking this and you can see the, the graph will redraw uh, pretty much instantaneously as you change the number of bins. And you can see how changing those number of bins uh, changes the, the visual of how that, how that data is represented. Okay, so that's, we've looked at pie chart. We've looked at bar chart, histogram. Now we're gonna go over to scatter plot. So I click scatter plot right here. And now we see we have length. This is a numeric variable. It's just plotted. Um, the horizontal spread here is just random. This is called the jitter because there is no variable on the, on the x-axis. But maybe I want to add one. Maybe I want to add uh, this categorical behavior. I add that and now we see over here it's showing me that behavior is on the, on the x and length is on the y. Um, and each dot is a different fish and it's showing us um, the length of each, of each of those. If I wanna add another variable to the plot, I click this, uh, I'll click weight, click show. And now weight is queued up here. And so right now I have um, behavior on the X axis and length on the Y, but maybe I wanna add weight uh, on the X and length on the Y. And now we see that um, we get this nice relationship between length and weight. Maybe I want to flip which one's on X and which one's on Y. I'm just going to go put length on X and um, weight, or sorry, yeah, and weight on Y. So now we have that. If I want to add a regression line, I just click this box there. It adds a regression line. Maybe I don't want it to be a linear regression. Maybe I prefer a quadratic. So we get that. Um, Another thing we can do is we can add a categorical, or we can add another variable to this as Z. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Z. And now you can see these points are, are color coded where bold are in purple and shy are in the blue. Um, and that, that is my Z variable. And then let's say that this is the plot that I would like to put uh, in my lab report or in a presentation or on a poster, the easiest way to get this out of the program is this little camera icon right here in the corner. I click that and now it is copying this graph to the clipboard. Um, can I remove my head over there? Um, I click copy and now this is done and I click done. Now this is on my clipboard. So if I go to another program, like say Word, where I'm writing my lab report, I just paste that in. Um, and now you can see I've got that into my document, uh, getting uh, graphs out of Data Classroom and into the assignment or document you are creating is that easy. So um, that is it. That is how you create uh, graphs with Data Classroom. Um, look for other videos that I'm going to put up about how to fully customize the, the look of your graphs with Data Classroom. Thanks for watching.